Here was my plan with the current spell book you guys have seen me play. I wanted to deal 850 direct damage as fast as possible and then leave the last 150 life points up to my Lake Worth monster or my Piazza bird to deal that damage through attacking. And here's how I'm going to accomplish that, guys. Here was the plan. Bookmark as many times as I can. So the Lake Worth monster, in the event that you're not familiar or you miss an episode or whatever, here we go. Victor Larson, Popeye Arms, six per spell book, one neutral, one water, 50 life, 25 Terra bonus on the attack for islands, 25 attack bonus for being in a forest, which we are power worthy. Bookmark a page from the top of your spell book, car wreck, 20. But the big thing is you fatigue him and you bookmark a page from the top of your spell book. That's why I put him in here. That's why I put all six of them in here, because I have six chances after getting him out to continue bookmarking pages to deal that 850 direct damage as fast as possible. Now, the way I was going to finish them off and continue bookmarking was invisibility. And I was very excited about these two cards coming in the same aura, working together. Five per spell book, one neutral, one water target beast or artifact gains invisible until the end of turn, and you may bookmark a page from the top of your spell book. So now I have given myself 11 chances to bookmark a page. And as long as I can make my Lake Worth monster or my Piazza bird deal 150 damage, I know that I'm going to fly through my spell book and get another 850 from the two Phoenix Reigns that each deal 100 damage to all casters, all non-flame and non-water beasties are inflicted with burn, as we just went over. Dragon's Breath was another part of my combo. Dragon's Breath, four per spell book, three flame. Dragon's Breath deals 50 damage to you. Place this page in the afterlife after resolving its effects. Choose an effect, deal 100 damage to target caster, or pay an additional three flame to place all Terra pages in the arena into the afterlife. I was after the 100 damage to target caster, and I'm willing to take as much damage as I need to. So as long as I'm 150 light points ahead, I can just bookmark, drain him. And it did work one time. And then we didn't really uh, we didn't really conclude that game because we started playing with different libraries. Um, so I have 44 cards in my spell book, one Island Terra, one Chaos Crystal, which everyone I think should have, one Cryptid Nation promo, which we heard may be illegal at tournaments and sanctioned play, but for now we're playing it because it lets me bring any page out for free. Piazza Bird gives me so much power. Also gives him a little power too. Mm -hmm. All flame auras cost one less flame, which means all these fireballs are now free. Yep. So guys, if I can just bookmark cards, I can cast fireballs for free. Yeah. But so can he. So can. it's a bit of a double-edged sword. It's a risk. I have seven flame aura, six water aura, 13 total aura. And then sometimes I was considering putting in this reflection card which I do think is powerful, but I only have one in. Reflection, five per spell book, two neutral, one order, one water aura. This spell may be contracted whenever an opposing caster contracts a spell and there is a mirror nearby. Even if it's not your turn, do not resolve the effects of the spell that was just contracted and place it in the cemetery. Then this spell's effect becomes the same as the chosen spell and you may choose new targets for it. I didn't get to use this yet. I am excited for the day that I can use it, but I do need to have a mirror handy or it's not going to work. So for now, it's in my sideboard. And although I don't normally like having sideboards, I like to just have a spell book that will work on any, you know, any opponent. Uh, I did put more reflections in here and a little more Terra, uh, excuse me, a little more Aura, but I never got to them. I was very happy with the 44 card build. I flew through. I did deal you direct damage one time mm -hmm. and I survived my own flames. And you melted before me in a once. mess. Of that did happen once. Cinders. Yeah. And I hope it happens again. Mm -hmm. But we'll that's see. it. We'll that's see. it. Direct damage bookmarking. This is very much how I play other games. This was nothing new to him. I like card draw and I like direct damage. And I'm willing to take damage, you know, lose my own life to remove all of his life. Um, so that's it. You'll probably see more builds like this. Um, I think that's all I have to say. I really like this. This is my favorite. I have a forest. I have a, a dark one coming. I have a lightning one coming. But for now, this is the one that I want to play the most that I feel the most confident in. Pass. Deck build to you. Pass turn. Pass okay. turn. Um, I think he's crazy. <laughs> what are you talking about? I think the whole, I'm going to draw all my fireballs with my Lake Worth monsters and flame you. 